Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video. Hope you guys are all doing well. This is going to be one of your guys' favorite times of the month because I'm currently in Royal Champion League, and in this video, I'm going to be pushing to Ultimate Champion with 3 Pinot Expo Cycle, my favorite deck in the game, showing you guys all my games that get me there, and teaching you how to play this deck at a high level. So I'm currently halfway through Royal Champion League steps-wise, and as I mentioned in this video, I'll be completing the final steps of Royal Champion League to get me to the esteemed Ultimate Champion. So I have been feeling pretty good about my performance this season. I think my win rate is looking relatively decent but unfortunately we are in the thick of it as some people might say because this is one of the worst metas we have had in clash royale in quite a while it truly does pain me to say that because we were just blessed with some really nice balance changes i think this month it, we've actually continuously been getting blessed with great balance changes but unfortunately to accompany those we've just been having a bunch of new evolutions and new cards that just break the game in so many different ways we've had evo pekka dominating the game for the last month and then now we have the Goblinstein. Evo E-Drag is also really good, but it was, like, emergency nerfed, so it's not that good anymore. I think it's still decent, but it's pretty niche and only seen in some cases. But Goblin Sign is just ruining the game right now. Like, if you wanted a Halloween season, you got one, because this card is just terrorizing ladder right now. And I actually have faced quite a bit of Goblin Sign already. We are currently playing really early season, by the way. It's only the first week of the season. I think it's, like, the fourth or fifth day. And I'm already going for Ultimate Champion, so feeling pretty good about that. But people already do have this card maxed, leveled up to level 15 and are playing it on ladders that's kind of crazy but i mean not to be uh too surprised i guess it is pretty common in clash royale but it's still just really annoying and speaking of really annoying we are up against a minor poison deck right now looking to be a really bad matchup yeah this guy has uh goblin demolisher evo knight and it just looks really bad but i think this is going to be a nice lock yeah he does misplace his ice spirit i'm gonna go skeletons to predict something he goes for the log instead so we are going to get a decent lock in the left although he got a lot of damage with those bats in the right so it's kind of like a 50 50 situation but yeah this matchup is really bad and i don't want to complain about matchups too much because i mean we could get much worse like goblinstein decks for example but minor poison has always been one of my least favorite matchups in this game with expo and uh, especially with him having the evo knight and the goblin demolish does only make it more annoying although he does have a level 14 demolisher so that helps me out anyways gonna go for the fireball plus log on that night as he was not ready for that play so we're actually gonna get a baby expo lock in the left putting us in the lead actually not really a baby lock we get like a thousand damage coupled with that spell connection to tower so that's actually really good and he even gives me the well played so yeah that was pretty solid guys as you get late game in these chip matchups especially like hog cycle minor poison you're going for offensive expos aggressively i do like to fireball support troops and the tower because it's just a nice way you can get chip he does learn from his mistakes and goes for a night high so i can't fireball this time but i'm still going to go for a fireball on the tower nonetheless because he is poisoning me out not going to let that keep happening going to keep fireballing back to kind of match the poison cycle if that makes sense going to go skellies to make sure this demolisher does not explode onto my tower get my high evo tesla in business and we are looking decent oh man i was like i i should have fireballed that but i was wasn't really ready with my reaction time so that was unfortunate honestly guys reaction time very important with this deck we did not catch the miner but we are going to get only a few hits taken because we have the archer helping out uh, gonna fireball again gonna go instantly for the expo in the right because he seems to be getting pretty comfortable with these random poison cycles in the left and so i know i have all my damage in the left guys but i'm still just trying to force stuff out in the other side so that mainly a poison if i can but unfortunately we're not gonna go archers for the miner and uh He's still just poisoning me out, so this is pretty tough, because, I mean, I have to spell cycle him in the left. And he does go for an Inferno Tower predicting an Expo, but honestly, past a certain point when they're going same lane as you, you never really go for Expos on offense, because they can just poison the Expo and the weak side tower. So in this case, I'm just going for offensive Expos in the right, or even a defensive Expo instead. I'm still pretty nervous, because, I mean, he can literally just spam Minor Poison on my tower and get almost guaranteed damage. Let me go for uh, Ice Spirit to predict a Miner. Let me just Fireball the Demolisher plus the Bats. I think that's actually worth it. We do not catch the miner but i think we're still i'm um, leaking i don't know what to do man like okay i'm gonna go archers the back and you start getting fireballs on the tower instantly that was pretty bad i like panicked for a bit leaked elixir for no reason gonna go high evo tesla to bridge block and take out those bats knight in the back does catch the miner perfect so that's gonna help us out a lot because really imperative to catch miners in these matchups guys even the most stray bits of damage can add up in the end so you just need to be really careful gonna go eve archers to melt that evo knight ice spirit for the miner and we do catch it again so ice spirit plus knight miner gets melted actually by the evo archers gonna go for my log tesla fireball again and that's gonna be game so really hard matchup really proud of that win guys first game of the video looking pretty good so let's get the push going Alright guys, into our next match against this Japanese player. Let's see what he's going to be running. Going to give him the good luck. 
see what's up. I'm just going to split my archers first play because my favorite starting play with this deck is probably split archers if I have expo. Not honestly, because if he goes for like a four or five looks a card in the back, I will just go off into expo opposite. So he's playing bomber plus princess. I didn't see if it's evolved, but I have a feeling it's an evolved bomber. So uh, I don't know what this deck is. Okay, and goblin gang. So princess goblin gang does just seem like log bait to me, but then I don't know what the bomber's doing in there. So it's a little bit weird, but we'll see what we're going to be up against. Dark goblin. Yeah, it's definitely some kind of bait, although I'm not entirely sure what exactly because bomber again just throws me off a bit probably like his own version nice skeleton just to counter that and we are kind of like spawned with a damage lead because he's playing cannoneer honestly guys i have not seen too much uh tower troop usage other than princess tower recently i have seen a lot of princess tower and maybe a fair bit of cannoneer here and there but since it did get nerfed once more, I do see it less. Okay, we see a random Mega Knight, so good thing I w didn't go Expo aggressively. I might just have to Fireball. I don't really want to. I think I do have to, though, so unfortunately she's going to take that Fireball, guys. Didn't want to mess around, then just log the Goblin Gang, and we should be good there, so... Aggressive by him, but we're going to survive. Gives us the well played. On another note, if you guys do, do enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I know I've been really busy with school stuff recently, and so my upload schedule has kind of taken a hit as a result. Oh my god, he's spamming the entire bridge with his stuff. That's going to be so... Oh my god, I was not ready for that. But yeah, I have been really busy with school, unfortunately, guys. I've had midterms. I've just been really... Uh, exhausted honestly with all the project work too i have four group projects to do this semester as well as some individual ones as well so it's just really taxing but i'm doing my best to maintain my stream schedule at least twice a week bare minimum because i know that those are doing well i know you guys enjoy those too and then i am still trying to do nice high quality long form uploads here and there so if you guys do enjoy the video feel free to show some support and love especially in a tough time like this i would really appreciate it but back to the match so he's playing is this even log bait? I don't even know. Like, I don't think we've seen a goblin barrel out of him, but it's just... Okay, I'm going to go archers low. Mega Knight's going to be a pain. Let me log the dark goblin back. Mega Knight's going to go for those random punches, but archers putting in work. Let me just fireball this, honestly. Don't want to waste my Evo Tesla. I feel like that could put in quite a lot of work on offense. I might be mistaken, though, but this is just getting kind of painful, guys. Like, I'm just stuck in a perpetual defensive loop speaking of which again here uh gonna evo tesla yep i was saving it for the right time this is definitely the right time just take out those evo bats as you can see the spawn pulse does kill evo bats whereas an ice spirit i believe does not so that's pretty important and now we have him in a really bad cycle wow that skarmy goes right into the evo tesla pulse that is so satisfying he has a lightning are you kidding me let me protect this and block because i just need to get as much damage as i can dude is literally playing lightning so that's kind of annoying gives me the well played i mean Oh my god, speaking of, I was going to say he just fed the Evo Tesla really heavily. And speaking of which, he just did it again. So thank you so much, kind sir, for your benevolence. We get another one. That Evo Tesla got, like, infinite value, guys. Skarmy, Goblin Gang, Dart Goblin. Like, oh my god, that was amazing. I'm just going to protect this a little bit with the Ice Spirit plus, uh... Or just the Ice Spirit, really. I don't really want to go Knight first. I think it's... It might, I might just be better off letting the Expo die, because... Evil Mega Knight, one of its weaknesses is against buildings. It obviously can't knock back a building. Imagine if it could do that. That would be really scary, but thankfully it cannot. So, you know, if I can just kind of ignore um, the buildings uh, or ignore the MK like on stuff like my Knight, then I can just get a lot of value with stuff like Tesla or Expo on, if that makes sense. Like, just now, the Expo did a pretty good job of defending the Mega Knight. I don't know. Like, maybe I should have protected it, but either way, I feel like I'm in a really good spot nonetheless, and if I just kind of hold this position, I'll be doing really good. I'm just going to spell cycle where I can, and right there is a nice opportunity to on the bomber, so I will. Then just archers for the Goblin Gang, also getting back to my evil archers. Maybe I can activate King here, although those evil bats are really scary, especially because, again, I get a perfect Ice Spirit on all five, but Ice Spirit does not kill bats or evil bats in one hit so that's a bit of an annoying interaction as you guys can see tesla does such a great job against it so that's really nice gonna go debo anti-lightning placement gonna go evo tesla high against all of those just kind of bridge battling here knight i could fireball the dark goblin and the tower i actually think i will i was debating it for a bit but i feel like it's worth it because it's triple and like i'm just playing really good anti-lightning as you guys can see knight at the bridge tesla at the bridge expo opposite lane like he can't really get a good lightning on anything even if he wants to he's just spamming me he's at like two elixir right now because he's literally dumping his entire bar at the bridge which does mean he will not be able to get a lightning off on this let me go for a high tesla anyways anti-lightning spot and then just fireball and as you can see we really ran away with that game at the end it was looking pretty annoying at the start he was just spamming me non-stop but i got really good momentum bowed my time and went for a really good expo at the right time and just like that we're going to get a really nice win against mega knight lightning so weird deck but as you guys can see with good gameplay you can still beat decks like those
All right, into our next match against Shades here. Let's see what he's going to be running. And no expo anywhere to be seen, so it's a bit unfortunate. I think I'll just split my archers anyways, because, I mean, splitting archers is a really good play. Uh, it's very safe. Like, you physically cannot get punished, except maybe if they go Lava Hound or Golem in the back. Then you only have one archer helping out, and it's technically a bad play as opposed to stacking them. But it's, like, not really that punishable nonetheless. Ice Wizard, Barb Barrel. Okay, this is looking like it's going to be Graveyard, if I had to take a guess. But there are many versions of uh, decks going around these days, so I'm not going to be too sure just yet. Let's Fireball the Tombstone. Going to get a nice damage lead in the left, because we got, what was that, like some Archer Chip and then a Fireball? Let me go High Tesla to DPS down this Baby Dragon instantly. It is definitely Splash Yard. I was right on that count. And he does have a Knight and Cycle, so... Oh, never mind, Valkyrie. Okay, I think I'll just stack my Archers on the Valk, because he might go Graveyard, but, I mean, that's going to be really aggressive. The Valk is, like, half dead, and the Tesla helped out a lot. Let me protect these Archers with the Skelly's Ice Spirit. As you guys can see, beautiful utilization of my Cycle cards. Now his Cycle is really bad. He has, like, nothing in hand. He goes for the Barb Barrel. It's going to die. Let me log the Tombstone. Maybe we'll get a Baby Expo Lock in the right. Yes, I will. Very nice. I mean, it's basically going to die to the Poison, but we still get a nice lock, and we have a good position in both sides as you guys can see that was really nice micro by me and something that i learned watching a lot of youtubers like clash with ash growing up and other expo players was value out of the cycle cards what separates a top player from a more average player is they actually get value out of their cycle cards instead of just like spamming them in the back and as you guys can see i got really good value from my cycle cards there by protecting my archers and creating an initiative to get a counter push that was really good gonna go tesla again for this baby dragon and evil archers putting in work let me go ice spirit to protect the one in the left let me go bow on the right with that one and as you can see the archers are just putting in so much work we'll get some power shots in the left that's two shots that's equivalent to two fireballs basically so that's just beautiful let me log the valkyrie plus the tombstone maybe get a baby lock in the right yes we will don't know what that tornado was that was a really sus tornado we have a huge lead in both sides guys like this is just going my way entirely don't know what this guy's doing honestly this is already a good game 2000 damage differential that's game and he goes baby dragon in the back i don't advise spell cycling so aggressively against splash yard but when you're up like 2000 then you can because it's just a pretty good play let me go skelly's knight let me not go archers because i want to defend this without going archers that way he can't really get any poison value as you guys can see we defended that perfectly we take zero damage our towers are untouched he's giving the crl thumbs up for some reason he's mad don't know what about let me fireball the tombstone and the evo tesla is still putting in work he does poison missing the tesla so his, even his poison placements are not on point this guy is just not playing well like honestly he's really just not we get a tesla pulse that honestly is reminiscent of the death pulse guys because it like spawned up and then died i do miss my death pulse i know it was like really good uh when it was a thing and i i actually do really miss it but it was really strong i suppose um but i've actually had a lot of people ask me especially in my lives but also in my comments and they say sk is evo tesla still good or should we use evo skeletons honestly guys i am still finding evo tesla to be very good and usable so maybe it's just me but personally i have still been using evo tesla to a decent amount of success as you guys can see i've been winning like most of my games today i'm definitely above an 80 percent win rate i think maybe 90 but i'm not sure um but uh, i'm doing pretty good so i feel like tesla is usable still uh, like Evo Tesla is still really good in some situations. Let me bridge block and then log. Skelly's catch that barb barrel. Okay, that did not work out. But as you guys can see, the bridge block is really crucial so that the graveyard has no tank. We still take like no damage at all. And he goes for a poison really late. That's not really going to do anything. Let me go Ice Spirit to make sure this doesn't really do anything. And that Ice Spirit just skirted the poison. That was beautiful. Just really good unintentional micro placement by me. But I'll pretend it was intentional. Going to go for an Evo Tesla, which will help out on the graveyard. And he's really upset. I don't know why. Like, I don't know why he's doing this. I mean, it is a pretty bad matchup for him, especially with the Valkyrie, but he's also been playing really badly. Like, he's genuinely been playing really, really badly. Like, I have played against Splash Yard players that make me really annoyed to play this matchup. And I've played against people that have actually beat me in this matchup because they just play it really well. Granted, usually Knight is a lot better than Valkyrie, especially because of the shield factor, but still, like, he just didn't play well. So I don't know why he's so upset, but that's going to be a flawless game by my side. All I can really do is control what I'm doing, and that's going to be a perfect game against Splash Yard. Alright guys, into our next match against Israel, okay, and let's see what our hand is, okay, nothing too special, I'm gonna go Skelly's at the bridge because I have identified a Cannoneer on his side, and it's actually a pretty good play against Cannoneer, as you guys can see, we just forced out a Knight, so that's a 1 for 3, and if I had Expo and Cycle, I could maybe even go Expo, because, I mean, Knight is a good Expo tank, wow, Loon the bridge, okay, let me just go late Tesla to pull this over, he might go for a Freeze, I would not be surprised, but... 
Um, yeah, he's not going to freeze. He's not that crazy, although he could have. But he will still have to respond, I think, because that knight should get one hit, maybe even two if I'm lucky. Yep, forced out the bar barrel, so nice. And he has no knight in cycle. I could honestly go expo, find out more about what he's playing in this deck. I think it's just going to be Lumber Loon. Yep, it is. Or I guess not Lumber Loon, right? Because I think these days Lumber Loon did replace the um, Lumberjack with the Evo Knight. And I, th I guess he would be running Evo E-Drag, right? So that would be pretty cool to see. Um, let me go Ice Spirit for this bowler. Perfect placement, as you guys can see. It makes it jump as well. Just stack archers into the I-Drag. And so far, we're looking pretty good. I mean, Cannoneer, we already spawned with a damage advantage. And guys, Lumberloon's one of my best matchups in this game. So I'll show you guys exactly how to play Cookie Cutter Lumberloon gameplay. I'm going to Fireball the E-Drag. I don't have a better play. I would Expo Opposite if I could, but I don't have it in Cycle. I don't want to pre-Tesla. It's a bit aggressive. And I already have archers helping out, so might as well just take the Fireball, to be honest. And uh, now he's going aggressive, so I'll go Tesla first. First, I went for the E-Drag. Okay, that didn't work out like I wanted, but still going to do a pretty good job. And if he goes for something, I can go Archers late and then Expo. Nonetheless, we're going to defend well. And I can go Expo Archers for the Bowler, and I think we should get a huge lock here. Let me go Archers right about now to predict the Bowler. We do get that off. We just go Bowler in the middle, like kind of predicting my Archers, so well played. We do get a couple Power Shots, so let me go Log on the Barbarrel plus Bowler. Do get a beautiful lock, and then I'm going to hover Skeletons for the Inferno Dragon. Let me go Knight the Bridge, because he has to respond to this. And if he goes I drag the Expo will still get on the Tower. And yeah, that's going to be really nice, guys. He's going to go for a late evo knight as you can see perfect punish we're up uh 2000 damage now because i got like 1600 from that lock or like 1400 got the fireball damage on the e-drag before and yeah beautiful stuff now if he goes loon in the other side this is exactly what i wanted to show you guys you don't have to panic about that just go expo to pull it over not only will it be an offensive expo too it'll pull the balloon over and be really chill so as you guys can see if you are feeling comfortable like me in this matchup you can just pre-tesla sometimes i wouldn't say just randomly pre-tesla but like say they go e-drag or inferno dragon in the back just go pre-tesla like it's really not a bad play by any means and then if they go balloon opposite try and punish you you can literally just expo pull it over like nothing concerning there let's go knight to tank oh my god e-drag putting in a lot of work as you guys can see evil e-drag is pretty scary like the dps is insane gonna predict a freeze and go expo plus archer he does not freeze but still Pretty decent expo initiative. Let me go skellies to catch the barb barrel. Log as well. Maybe get a baby lock. I could have fireballed that. Imagine the IQ, guys. If I, like, instantly fireballed that as well, knowing I'd get a lock and force out a lot of elixir. I do still get one tick, so that's still a baby expo lock in my book. Uh, I'm going to pre-Tesla. I will knight to protect this Tesla, too, in case he goes for, like, a balloon or something. And as you can see, we're just kind of running with this game. Like, there's nothing you can do. My towers are completely untouched. This is a perfect game against Lumberloon right now. Going to go archers for the bowler. Going to take a beautiful fireball on the bowler plus E-drag. And he's going to freeze, but he still needs to respond. And I think he's in trouble. Let me log the bowler back. Hopefully he doesn't get a bowl on my tow on my exploit. Does not, but the Evo Knight does come down in time. As you can see, he's just scrambling for elixir the whole way through. And I'm just defending and chilling. Let me go archers snipe this E-Drag. And then he goes loon into my archers. That is not what you want to see. I'll go expo to pull this over. Ice Spirit 2. And then I'm going to go skellies 2 for the I-Drag. And we'll actually get a lock. Forcing out the freeze, and that's just not what he wants to do. As you can see, the momentum is just entirely on my side, guys. Gonna get back to archers, so log to cycle to the archer zone and waste a knight. As you can see, he calls a good game. He has literally zero damage on my towers, guys. It's been four straight minutes of this match. I've taken half his tower. Like, this is just perfect Lumberloon gameplay. And this is against the new meta version that has Evo Knight and the newly released Evo E-Drag. So if you guys need to know how to defend against Lumberloon, this is for you. Now, it is late game in triple, so I'm going to go for a low Debo instead of a high one. Uh, like, I would say an offensive expo would still be um, considered a defensive expo in some ways, the way I did it earlier in this match. But... Uh, this time I'm going to go low because I just don't need to get any damage in the left. I'm just going to pull the balloon over and chill. And actually going to pre-place that defense expo now. So you can see, you can cover both lanes, guys. One with the expo, one with the Tesla. And that's just going to be perfect. Let me cut this knight way out of range so the Tesla actually gets on what I want it to get on first. And not the knight tanking. Going to skellies, archers. And as you can see, this game is just going really well. Like, the only damage I've ever taken was death damage from one good balloon push. Which was a good balloon push by him. But still, like, he lost in both lanes. This is just a perfect match. And this is how you play against Lumber Loon. So if you guys need to know how to play against Lumber Loon, this is the one for you. This is a perfect match. He is definitely upset. Yeah, he is very much not happy with how that went. But, I mean, I'll take it. Flawless gameplay against Lumber Loon. A pretty common deck in this game. Alright guys, we are now two wins away from Ultimate Champion. Founder match against Makako D. Luffy. I feel like that's a One Piece reference. I've always seen these, like, Luffy names, and I think they're one piece references um but i'm not 
entirely sure. I don't really watch anime. But let's split archers as he splits his own archers. Go skellies too. And he was going to be running archers phoenix. I think this might be electro giant, which would be very interesting because I actually haven't seen e-giant in a fat minute and it would be pretty fun to get that matchup. I mean, not really matchup wise, but just to go against it. Okay, wow, he goes Mega Knight. So Mega Knight Archer is Phoenix. I could not have expected Mega Knight. So this is why you play safe, guys. I've learned my lesson. I played. I lost, by the way. I lost one match in my push to Ultimate Champion. I lost against like a Mega Knight bait deck, Mega Knight Minor Poison or something like that. Oh wow, Goblin Sign. Okay, guys, here we go. Here we go. We are in the thick of it. Truly, level 15 Goblin Sign pops the ability. It's gonna melt my Tesla, but. As you can see, I spaced my archers out really well, so they're not really going to do anything uh, negative and be in range of that ability. going to go Expo because he just played Mega Knight, and he went Goblinstein. Okay, Prince. Let me go Skellies for the Prince. Perfect placement, as you guys can see. Perfectly placed to make the Prince uh, charge and not hit the Expo, and also get in range of the tower. That was actually perfect. And then he goes for a late Fireball. Let me go Evo Archers the Bridge because he's low on Elixir. He's at like one Elixir right now. As you can see, that is going to be really good too. Wow, that was a great punish against the aggressive Goblin Sign push. And that's going to be pretty much a good game. He is down 2,000 HP now. Perfect Elixir counting punish right there. That's how it's done. So... Yeah, what can I say, guys? I just, it just comes to me, like, if people play so aggressively, like, you know, he went Mega Knight, Goblinstein, Goblinstein Ability, then Prince Fireball, like, that's just so much Elixir. I knew for a fact that this man was low on Elixir, so I went Evo Archers the Bridge, and just took his entire soul with that punish. Let me Fireball the Archers, and I can actually activate King if I need to, uh, but I'll go Knight to be safe. I could have activated King, but I don't know what else he's gonna do behind this. Yeah, like, Rage and whatnot, so... I don't want to mess around with that. Mega Knight is probably going to get on my tower. Yeah, look at that. That card is... Oh, wow. That is actually really satisfying, guys. Wow. Mega Knight dying mid-air, mid-jump, about to take my tower. Or, like, jump on the tower, but it didn't. That's actually satisfying. Let me go Fireball plus Log to kill that Doctor. That's actually a nice interaction, you guys. Uh, if you didn't know about it, now you do. Wow, Death Pulse. I would not have needed to go Skeletons there if Death Pulse was a thing. I do miss my Death Pulse, man. R.I.P. Death Pulse on the Tesla. 2024 to 2024 let me go ice spirit just to pressure a bit though and debo he's playing fireball so he's just playing like a weird goblinstein beatdown deck like mega knight beatdown evo mega knight with the goblinstein i think he has evo archers too yeah there they are right there i could fireball one of them honestly he goes for the fireball i feel like mm, i feel like it's a bit aggressive actually because he got a fat fireball on my expo plus uh tesla so i think it's probably better to not actually do that and a log. So as you guys can see, I actually uh, controlled. Excuse me, I controlled those Evo archers really well. Uh, the one in the right will get one power shot, which doesn't matter because that's the thing I don't really care about. And the one in the left, I cycled so fast, fast fingers out here, got two logs on it to kill us. That was really satisfying. Actually, that was nice. And he's doing a good job of like stacking archers opposite lane because obviously I don't want to do anything in the in the right. I don't want to fireball them, let alone log them even. But I'm just gonna debo again. I'm just buckling down with his defense, honestly. Gonna stack archers because he has no fireball and cycle now. As you guys can see, it's like a nice thing you can do. You can, like, force out a uh, fireball on, like, one thing and then abuse the other thing. For example, Expo Tesla in the middle. Oh, hold on. This uh, right side is getting really scary. Okay, thankfully, the Prince does go to the Tesla. Oh, no. Uh, Prince, please don't. Oh, my God. Okay, let me go archers. And why is that still in the tower? Oh, my goodness. That was really bad. But since we've been playing really well, the whole game with a beautiful punish and single and then good like spell cycle here and there i'm still in the lead by over a thousand but that was scary i will say my goodness that was scary but we are totally fine so let me just go for the tesla now and uh just have to defend and triple honestly prince mega knight is one of the scariest combinations in this game guys like it really is so uh yeah i really need to be careful about that he's gonna fireball the archers that is a-okay by me we are going to have a really nice defense with double Tesla stacked. Going to go for the offensive expo, actually. He goes for a Goblin Sign ability, but... And Eve Orchards, he's dead, he's dead. I, I'm telling you guys, he's dead. He spent his entire bar, he's still spending his entire bar on the right side. Like, where's your concern for the left, dude? He actually gets a power shot, but... How, wait, actually, how is he still alive? I am actually so confused, guys. The dude spammed his entire elixir bar at the bridge. Okay, he's dead now. Yeah, that is that is very much deserved. Like, he, he spammed so heavily. Like, that was really bad. But that's going to be GG's. Nice win against level 15 Goblinstein. Like I said, guys, we are in this meta, and people are playing Goblinstein. So, level 15 Goblinstein. 
No problem. We are now one win away from Ultimate Champion, so let's get it. I'm actually not feeling that good about win rate, guys. Like, I think it's definitely going to be over 80%. It has not been under 80%, I think, the entire year. But, like, pretty much every single time, it's been 90% plus, and I think it's going to be the first time in, like, months on both accounts that I don't get a 90% plus win rate. Then again, I did play early season, so I guess that's one factor. Like, a lot of good players are playing, and it's a bit more difficult. But I'm a good player, too. Like, I still don't think that's an excuse, so it is unfortunate. And the game against, like, that stupid uh mega knight deck that i lost earlier it was just an aggressive expo and single that i like lost my tower for so honestly guys uh, after that loss i've kind of humbled myself and i've been playing super like passively and chilling so hopefully that makes sense as to why um i've been playing really like passive like in that last game against that mega knight Goblinstein deck i still played really passively and i didn't really do much um you know i let him uh take all the initiative with the aggressive plays and i actually punished him for being too aggressive myself so yeah gonna go knight for this mk and oh that gang is actually really annoying yo i hope it didn't lose the game just now hold up um skellies and then i have to go archers and i'm gonna go ice bit for the skelly barrel okay honestly guys i did play a bit aggressively again for some reason like i'm just I, it's just in my blood. Like, I just want to go expo sometimes, man. Like, I just want to go offensive expo. But honestly, that was not a great expo, as you can see. I had to waste my Evo Archers, so good job by him baiting them out. And then also, I don't even get much damage. Okay, I do get two power shots. We actually messed up. And we actually are going to come out on top of that sequence because he messed up like that. But let me log. Um, hitting the tower. Low-key, it would have been better to hit the miner and not the tower. It would have been up more damage, or the difference would have been less. But it's okay. Or, it would have been bigger, but it's, it's whatever, it's whatever. So this is looking like Mega Knight bait, right? Okay, he has a Goblin Sign. Perfect, guys. This is actually really good. Like, I don't like going against Goblin Sign. It's such a broken, boosted card. And they have not even, like, emergency nerfed it. It's only been, like, a few days. But this card is, like, in his prime right now. Really broken. Um, no pun intended with the prime plus thick of it reference, but... Uh, I've just been watching a lot of those videos, guys, of, like, KSI getting cooked recently. It's so funny. Anyways, let me go for the log on the Miner plus Skelly Bear. Let me go for the Offensive Expo with these Archers supporting. I think he has an Evo Mega Knight coming down. Let me go Knight for that. And then I can actually Evo Tesla for the Mega Knight plus the Spears plus the Bats. Whoa, that was insane. Actually, that was insane because his entire evolution line got discontinued. That sounds like I end his entire, like, family history. But genuinely, both Evos were a waste of Evo MK and Evo Bats. Right into the Evo Tesla, man. Let me fireball the Stein uh, plus Tower. So it's actually a really nice play again, guys. Fireballing the Goblin Stein, Doctor plus uh, the Monster. And unfortunately, that ability is just so busted. We actually don't get any damage because, yeah, that ability is so broken. Then my X was basically dead. It's actually pretty scary now. Um, let me think. I'm going to Ice Spirit here. Archer's there and then Log. And then I think I'll be alive because the Archers will help out. Yeah, I should be fine. We'll go Skellies too. Has a Rage in this deck. Okay. I mean, Goblin Sign is so broken, but we are still in the lead. But this is actually getting, like, a bit scary. I feel like I have to lock in and, like, defend better. Because, I mean, right now, this guy is just spamming me really heavily. And it's actually kind of working. Like, it, it is actually kind of working. Um, I'm going to go Expo. And I have Evil Archers to help out if I... I actually don't even like that Expo, man. What am I doing? Let me go Evil Archers plus Skellies and Log. Uh, Knight in the left is going to get some nice hits, by the way, and I think I'll just Ice Spirit. Whoa, Knight in the left is going crazy. Look at that, guys. Um, I can actually Expo in the left since he's low on Elixir, and I do have an Evo Tesla to help out, so let me go for that. I think he does not have enough for the... Oh, no. Uh, <coughs> sorry, I, I'm actually really concerned now because I am down damage. Whoa, what even happened? It's not that bad, I guess, but... It's not good either. Please don't rage the archers. Please, please, please. <gasps> wait, let me go knight. Wait, wait, wait. Am I actually dead? No. No, 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 no. Oh my god, wait. This is so bad. Wait, wait, wait. What ev What is even happening? Oh. Wait, I have to like buckle up and get a crazy comeback now because I am down 2,000. What even happened? Let me go Tesla. Let me play defensively first and then go aggressively after that. So Skelly's to catch the miner. We do catch the miner. Archer's low. Log for the miner. And then I'm going to go expo because I have to. Like, I have to go expo. So I'll go defensive expo to build up a defensive, uh, like, support and kind of stack two expos. That's going to be my goal right now. Because if I just go in, he has a Mega Knight with my expo's name on it. Let me go Tesla. Split Evo Archers. Expo in the left. He goes miner in the middle. Really bad miner. And now I actually feel like we can make something happen. Goblin Sign comes down. Let me Knight plus Fireball. And I think we'll actually kill the Doctor plus Monster really quickly. Yes, we will. Let me get back to an expo on the left right now because the pressure is at a maximum. 
Evo Archer getting some power shots in the left too. Let me log all of that. And then Evo Tesla with the expo. Maybe I actually sequence everything. Oh my god, Evo Tesla melts. And that's going to be game. He has no reset. He doesn't have zap. He has rage. Yo, and we actually do Ice Spirit catch the miner too. That's actually perfect. Oh my god, that comeback is insane. Goblinstein, Mega Knight, get out of here. That is actually a crazy comeback for Ultimate Champion. Let's go. That's going to be Ultimate Champion, guys. I can't believe it. I thought I lost. I was playing too aggressively. I was like defending badly. My cycle is all over the place but we're able to lock in and get it done so that's going to be ultimate champion league as you guys can see we're going to reach ultimate champion and our win rate is going to be 85 percent now that is honestly kind of unfortunate like i actually don't feel that good about that but it is above 80 percent, so it's like bare minimum but you know as i said i've been getting 90 percent plus like every single season for seasons back to back so it is a little bit disappointing but nonetheless it is what it is i guess um that's still going to be ultimate champion in the first few days of the season as you guys can see we are top 500 in the entire world right now so that's actually really nice and uh yeah, earliest I've been Ultimate Champion in a few months, too. I usually do it, like, second week of the season, I think. But this has been great. I've just been playing on stream and having fun. So, as you guys can see, we beat Goblin Sign twice. Let's go. I'm actually really proud of that win. Like, that comeback was crazy. And, yeah, you just have to lock in sometimes, guys. That's all I can really say. As you can see, I beat some other decks. I lost to this in single elixir. I don't know what I was doing. Um, and I had some tough losses, like Recruits, too. That's honestly just a really bad matchup. But... Oh yeah, I've beaten Goblinstein quite a few times, as you can see, so the meta is not looking that great, but nonetheless, it is what it is. Still doing it with Throughput Expo Cycle every season, as you guys can see. I hope you guys enjoyed the Ultimate Champion push. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the next one. If I can reach my freaking emote page, there we go.